Welcome! Here we are, Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist. Thank you for joining me here today uh, to talk about... Oh, do this every time, don't I? What to do if you want to shift your reality. So, this is Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist, as I said. Thank you for joining me. I would love to know if you're here live or if you're here doing a replay. Oh, here we go. Get, get your pen and paper and start writing notes because today is a goodie because this is clearly one that people are screaming for <clears throat> what to do if you want to shift your reality and i'm going to give you six 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 top tips to help you resolve that whatever's going on in that head explosion of yours <clears throat> so let's kick into tip number one now tip number one is three words let it go and let it go can challenge people so much even just saying that because people go let it go let it go move on let it go i'm telling you let it go do not let this brain craziness take over your world because that's exactly what happens when it starts filtering into your mind the key is to stop it straight away before it starts getting in there like the roots of a tree that have been around for years and they're just getting embedded and embedded and embedded <clears throat> tip one let it go we have past fears we have future fears we have other people's stories we have your own bs belief system story your own story we've got them they're all just a story that you have allowed to attach to you now that's fine in the past it served you to attach to that fear in that future whatever it is <clears throat> other people's stories but right now, it's done. Let it go. They are just a story. And when you hear that stuff come in, the key to go to letting it go is, it's just a story. Thanks very much. I've got this. Hand on heart if need be. It's just a story. Thanks very much. I've got this. Whoever you're talking to, whatever you're talking to, you're just saying, I've got this, and you're letting it go. You're not going to allow this stuff to filter in and stick in your mind and get embedded into your body that's now going to stop you from doing anything fears are a uh, thing that happens they just hold on to us and they can immobilize us so much like a hamster on the wheel that just falls on its a and legs in the air dead end so tip one let it go let it go let it go let it go now <clears throat> number one has another side bit so one b tip one b is gratitude be so grateful to your journey. Be so grateful for those past fears. Be so grateful for those future fears. In fact, I don't even know what way it goes on the video for you. Past fears, future fears, past fears, future fears, whatever it is. Other people's stories, your stories. Any of that stuff, be grateful to that journey that got you here right now, listening to this video with your note pace. So absolutely love the process. That's one B. <clears throat> Number two is a word that uh, I hear and go, Ugh, and it's called structure. Structure your life. Structure your business, structure your personal life, structure your uh, people around you, structure your time, whatever it is, structure your life. This is your life to structure. Now, I personally don't like the word structure, my thing, but it is basically saying get clear on your desires. Because if you're not asking for anything, it's always going to be a no. So ask whatever it is. So you must structure your world because if I don't know what you're, what you're looking for, how am I going to help you? If your children don't know what you're looking for in that task, just do it. Do what? You haven't said what it is. You've pointed over there. There's 20,000 things I can do there. Or maybe not. So what is it? So you have to ask. What you don't ask for is always a no. So get clear on what you're looking for. Write a, I call it a manifesting list. If you're looking for a new partner, a new partner, any old partner, write a manifesting list. What would you like in that partner? Here's a tip. Perhaps put a single and ready to mingle. It's just a little help, but it's up to you. But get clear on what you're looking for. What do you want that manifesting list to look for? And one of my favorites is actually a vision board. Now, I'm not a massive, massive, massive vision board person. I do the vision board and then I leave it and carry on. And I had to giggle because I was cleaning out some stuff. And I found this. 
how that can go to you. I found this from something a while ago. Uh, and this is probably a good 10 years ago. And I looked and I went, oh, wow, it's got the white Range Rover on there. And I went, oh, had my white Range Rover for some time now. Uh, well over five years, probably coming up a little bit longer. And I had to giggle because this was always something that I'd always wanted, was my white Range Rover. And, of course, then there's the tag watch that I had a fashion attraction for. So get clear on what you're looking for. What is it you're looking for? What does it look you like your data structure like? What would you like? Would you like to have more clients? Would you like to have more fun time? Would you like to have uh, relaxing time? Would you like to have what is it you'd like? Get clear on what you'd like. If you're not clear, how are we going to know what you're looking for? How's the universe going to know what you're looking for? How's those people around you going to know what you're looking for, what you're asking for? But remember, if you don't ask, it's always going to be a no. Now, number two, that was number two. Now, number two has a little B part to it, 2B, 2A, 2B. And that is called, it starts with G. <clears throat> you might have got it from the last one. It's called gratitude. Be grateful for the journey you're on. Love that process. Be grateful for that manifesting list. Be grateful for that vision board. Be grateful that you didn't ask at that time. Be grateful that you did ask for that time. Be grateful for what you're looking for, what your desires are. If you're not grateful, you're going to receive something different from the universe. Number three, and this is called TF, and it is called time frame. Whenever you're asking for something, put a time frame on that. So if you're asking for the car or the watch or the new client or the fulfilling relationship, whatever, put a time frame on that. But make sure it's realistic. Now that's realistic to you and others and the universe. Not saying, um, my favorite is, I want to lose some weight. People go, I want to lose some weight. And I'm like, okay, great. When do you want to lose that? Well, I want to lose um, two kgs a week for the next four weeks. It's like, okay, you're going to like... You're going to do some serious exercise for that and serious cutting out calories. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's like, okay, well, uh, let's just look at that realistic time frame. That's, oh shit, you're not going to get there unless you pretty much kill yourself, I would say, from, from what I've seen. But make sure that time frame, that TF, is realistic. Now, 2020 oh, taught us that our realistic time frames were a little bit different. So let's look at what are those realistic time frames because you've got to remember life comes in and things change. So what is that time frame that you're looking to do those things on to shift your reality? What are those time frames we're looking at? <clears throat> so this one also has a little B note to it as well. Have a guess what this is. What do you think this one is to the people who are watching now? It starts with G. It's called gratitude. Be so grateful for the journey you're on. Love that process you are on. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. <clears throat> Number four. Number four is TRP. TRP, and it's called The Right People. Now, when I say the right people, there is different kinds of people. There is the cheerleaders. Oh, wow, you're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. Well done. They're fantastic. The others are the bloom poppers. Pop. Oh, I really think we, I'd like to do this. Pop. Who's going to buy that off you? Who's going to do that from you? Pop, 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 pop. So you've got your cheerleaders and your balloon poppers. And then in the middle, you've got me, clearly, the right people. You've got me around you. Now, out of those three people, or three groups of people, you must be... Guess what I'm going to say? It starts with G. Guess what? Guess what? I'm going to say you must be grateful for all of those people. You must be grateful for the cheerleaders. Woohoo! You're doing so well. They're the ones who keep you going. You must be grateful for the bloom poppers. Pop, 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 pop. Because they get you clear on your mission. They get you clear on what you're looking to do. They make sure that you've ticked every box to do this before you get on this platform. And then there's me. And then there's me. Be grateful for me because I'm going to call it to you straight. And I'm going to tell you if this is a viable thing or not. If this is a viable thing or not. But when you get those people on board, make sure that they've actually got some structure behind them. So if you've got a balloon pop who says, is that really going to be your target market? Is that really going to be the people you're going to sell to? Is that really how much you're going to charge that for? Is that really? Remember, are they your people? 
for are they the people you're going to sell it to do they actually have some knowledge for those balloon poppers so make sure you have the cheerleaders and the balloon poppers and the debs and there's another side site to this one and what is this called it's called g4 gratitude be grateful for those cheerleaders be grateful for the balloon poppers and be grateful for the debs because we call it how it is if you're not grateful, the universe and everybody around you will treat you very differently. But when you have gratitude energy and it's in your soul and you're embedded with this gratitude energy, you are a different person. You are a different person and you give out different vibrations. So love that gratitude. Love the cheerleaders. Love the balloon poppers. Love the Debs. Love yourself. Ensure that you have the right people around you. There's a beautiful process going on here. Number five. Number five is TA. Now, what do you think TA is for? It just reminds me, actually, of the Nike. Just do it. It's called TA. Take action. You're not going to get to a process if you just think about this. You're all, this is taking action. This is actually taking action by typing it up, printing it out, laminating and putting it on my board if I need to, whatever it is. But there is a process called taking action. If you're going to think about all the things and just sit, it's not going to come to you. You're not going to reach the people. And if you're looking at shifting your reality, and this is a, a subject that you really, or a tip that you really, 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 really struggle with, please reach out because you don't have to be, get yourself, you don't have to get yourself in a pickle if you're taking action. Often we overthink things, so don't overthink, just take action. Just take action. This didn't work. Change it. This didn't work. Change it. This worked. Perfect. This didn't work. Pivot. Whatever it is, take action. That's tip five. And as we know, these tips have a little side swipe. So what do you think the side swipe for take action is? Starts with G. Gratitude. Be grateful. Be grateful that you take action. Be grateful that you take action in your time frame, whatever that is, not what someone else is telling you to do. Take action. Be grateful for that. Be so effing grateful to your journey of taking action that you've got to this point. There's nothing worse than being out of gratitude. It's a real ick place to be. And the sixth, sixth tip, number six, is a top tip. Clearly they all are. But this one is actually, talk to me. Talk to me. Reach out. Don't be one of those people who are sitting there uh, watching and not commenting or, or not reaching out and just sitting in their space and whatever it is. Talk to me because I am here for you. All you've got to do is reach out. All you've got to do is reach out. And if you can reach out, you're going to get results from where you are and what you're doing. So that's my top six tips on what to do if you want to shift your reality and I'm going to give you one more and you know the one the other one is actually six has a little uh side swipe to that and that's called gratitude oops forgot about that one gratitude talk to me as uh, six and then the side swipe for that is gratitude but the other thing is don't overthink things I'm going to do not my seventh tip because clearly there's something I tend to forget is don't overthink it go back to step five take action don't overthink. If we're sitting in our, in our head space that we just don't know what to do, please reach out. Don't let yourself get to that point. So don't overthink. And then I'm going to say be grateful. Be grateful. Gratitude. Be so grateful for that journey you're on. So this is Debs Cooper signing off. What to do if you want to shift your reality. Seven tips and seven side swipes there that came in on under each one. Gratitude. Thank you, Sandra, for joining me. Oh, yay, I love these tips. Fabulous. That's what we like to see. Six, seven, there's actually seven now, simple tips with a side swipe in them. So that is Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist, signing off for your video here today. What to do if you want to shift your reality. If you like today, if you like today, if they were top tips for you, they actually resonated with you, the next step is... Do you know what the next step is? To share it. Share this with those you love. Share those with those you love publicly, those you don't love publicly, those that frustrate you. You just want to share that. Share that love to them if you liked today's 
topic and video on what to do if you want to shift your reality. Thanks for joining me. This is Debs Cooper, Global Stressologist, signing off. Have a fabulous day and I will see you next time. Thanks.